Drive. Good afternoon, everybody. I want to thank everyone for coming. Uh, today we're having the official wet down of our 2012 Pierce Velocity. Uh, this was put together over two to three years of uh, hard planning. Uh, a lot of thought process went into this, even for us. Uh, a lot of brain power was used. Uh, I just want to thank everyone for coming today. I want to thank a few people. Uh, Broad Channel, our newest friends, came on up from Broad Channel. We're happy to see them. Uh, just behind me, I want to introduce a few officers of the department. Our chief of the department, Billy Ryan. First Assistant Chief Patrick Haggerty. And me. Our, <laughs> our Captain Angela Martello. <laughs> Lieutenant Pedro Odesmo. Our man Tommy Slappy Didi. Our Chief Driver, Jack Tornello. And our Assistant Chief Driver, one of the primary architects of the truck, Carlos Romero. Yeah. I just want to acknowledge a few people, or a bunch of people on the truck committee, but it essentially boiled down to three people. First person I want to acknowledge is Carlos Romero, Romero, who at the time was the captain of the company, he spent hours and months just researching, talking to developers, talking to peers, talking to all the companies. Also not in our company, who lent a really big hand, was there every step with Carlos, was Chris Skelton, mechanical open ladder. Chris and Carlos, I can't even tell you, it's probably a few hundred hours at minimum spent going up and down trying to get everything together. And the man who designed the engine and the uh, tranny and everything else, the stuff that we don't understand, Jack Tornello. I'd also like to express my thanks to the mayor and board of trustees. Uh, getting this truck was no easy sell, especially because of the economic times, but the mayor and board saw fit that yes, we do need a new fire truck as the village starts to develop. As if you go by our highway garage, you see a new uh, condominium complex going up where Castle Oil used to be, and we know at some point General Motors sooner or later is going to be developed. This truck was designed to handle all that stuff 20, 25 years from now. And I know the mayor and the board got a lot of flack on the blogs and all that stuff. Oh, you spend the money on the fire truck, that's ridiculous. But at the end of the day, they saw through all that, made the right decision for the community, and I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart and my company. Thank you very much. And one other person, I don't know, I don't think she's here, is uh, Janica Dalpo, the village attorney. Uh, she sat down with the truck committee almost as long as they sat down and had to read specs this big, three of them. Every single page, every single detail. She put a lot of hard work in, she washed out for her best interest, so I also want to thank her, you know she's not here. Uh, at this time, I'd like to introduce the mayor of City Hall, Mayor Ken Ray, who's been a big supporter of our fire department. Thank you, um, and thank you for inviting us here. I, I'd like to introduce the members of the board that are here, uh, in the order that I see them. Uh, Karen Wampa, uh, Evelyn Stupel, Glenn Rosenblum, um, Jennifer Lobato Church, Susan McFarlane, Bruce Campbell, also the village administrator is here, Anthony Giaccio, and the clerk is someplace, Paula McCarthy Thompson. Yeah, I, I have a, a really short story to tell, um, and that is um, when we started this process, when um, you guys came to us and said, we need a new truck, I said, all right, fine, I know you're going to want a Pierce, you're not going to get it, it's not going to happen, never. Uh, I know it's sitting right here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get um, somebody in to help write up a scope, we're going to do this thing the proper way, we'll bid it out, all of that happened, the bids came back in, the Pierce was the highest cost, it was top of the, um, the list, said, okay, good, now we know we're not going to get it. Um, the department came in and made an argument, well, look, this is the only one that did this part of the bid. I gave the whole thing to the village attorney, um, Janet Gandolfo. I said, Janet, they want the peers, they're not going to get it, okay? Make sure it doesn't happen. So she sat down about a month later, came back and said, you know, I went through all of this stuff with them, and this is the only truck. This is the one that meets the bid. This is the one that does everything that we needed to do. 
and I didn't believe her. She had this gigantic long memo for all of us that she went through and said, here's all of the reasons why it's the right one. So between them, they convinced us that this was the right truck to get. Um, so the, if it had been up to me, we'd be standing in front of something else, the wrong truck. Um, and I'm very glad and happy about the way the uh, process went and happy that we got this one. So congratulations, guys. Hi, at this time, I'd like to introduce uh, my senior Mazda from Macro Perception Church. He's uh, nice enough to come down and bless our truck as we uh, go into battle, for lack of a better term. Senior? Thank you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon to you all. It's so good for me to be here. Now, as far as I remember, I blessed the other truck. Yes, you did. <laughs> How long ago was that? 2003. Well, that's interesting. Well, I'll. Uh, so it fits in because uh, we're now blessing another gift, as it were, that came from unknown places. I'm so happy to hear how the mayor reported it was almost impossible that you get a new truck like that, and yet it came. So what we're doing now, uh, for those who believe in God, we just remember that God gives gifts. <laughs> he gives strange, wonderful things to us sometimes without knowing about it, and even sometimes we don't even ask for it. But this is why we bless this wonderful uh, machine of mercy that goes out to people in trouble. And of course, we're blessing it that we may take this gift and we will use it well to help people, to guide people, and save people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, <coughs> the peace, the joy, and the blessings of God come down upon you. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord our God, worthy of all praise, for you have provided for the perfection of your creation through our human labor and intelligence. And you give us your gifts, mysteriously, without our knowing it. So now grant, that this wonderful new fire engine, your blessing, may come down to our service and may be used by those who will use it to save and help people in their distress. May this wonderful machine be a source of mercy, kindness, and charity to those in need. So may the Lord God bless this beautiful, wonderful fire engine and bless all those who are in it working and driving it, and bless those who are in need of their service. So may Almighty God bless this wonderful machine in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, and now they owe me a ride in that machine. <laughs> Now you can feast. <laughs> thank you, Monsignor. All right, everyone, Monsignor's right. Uh, thank you all for coming. Let's enjoy some refreshments and talk and meet new friends, make new friends and talk to some old ones. Thank you for coming. <laughs>